like the thrill of it, don't you? You don't really know me. Now back off. You lied to me. Who are you? I'm sorry. What happened to Chloe? Pippa, hey, Brandon, good morning. Hi, Jeff. Good morning. How are you? Hello. I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, where you are, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today to talk about Chloe. What a great thriller. Uh, congratulations to both of you. What a great series. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You know, Pippa, Livia has a new best friend, Becky, but she isn't who she claims to be. yet. How would Livia feel if she knew that Becky was stalking her? I mean, you never know, really. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there'd be some sort of, I mean, there is a line in episode two when, Becky says to Sasha says to, to Livia that she has a stalker and there's actually something quite tantalizing for Livia about that she's like oh that's really exciting so yeah. I wonder if actually on some low low-key level she'd be quite excited that she she's you know had a stalker but um yeah maybe I think, yeah I think she'd maybe be quite into it who knows <laughs> And Brandon, you know, Josh is on to Becky's game early on too, giving mm -hmm. him three different names he becomes suspicious right away doesn't he Oh, big time, big, big time. But he's he's captivated by it. He loves the mystery that um that Becky brings and it it really intrigues him, hence why he, you know, starts to, to get on the, the trail with her. Yeah, he likes to play it out. He's what's his mm -hmm. game? You know, it's so interesting. Instead of him losing his temper, he's just kind of playing with it. Yeah, yeah. I think he he uh, not only does he want to see how she's gonna play it out, he also has a uh, a heart string that connects with her, you know. So so yeah, I think uh yeah. I, I think he's just very intrigued about what she's doing and how she's going about it. Gives him a little bit more excitement in his life. And, and Pippa, would you call Becky and Livia's intense female relationship? Was that the best way to describe it? Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, actually. I think you've nailed it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was intense, man. I was biting my nails every episode. Were you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. I suppose because as the audience member, you're a step ahead of me. Mm. So you'll see. Well, it's because we know. Seeing. Yeah, because the audience knows what's going on, and we want yeah. to shout to the TV to let you know what's I happening. Know. We can. Yeah, she's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and Brendan, how we present ourselves online and create our own reality. What kind of person is that that takes on a different persona like that? Uh, you know, because in Becky's case, you know, she has a lot of trauma with her mother and and self esteem. Yeah. But just in the real world, I mean, I can't imagine meeting someone and finding out they're completely fake. Well, I mean, that TV show Catfish, you know, it's uh, it, it happens, you know, it happens a lot. I think I think it comes with, you know, self-worth. You know, what what do you what are you worth yourself? How do, how do you believe in yourself and how do you see yourself? Um, and with social media, everyone wants to put out the best positive image of themselves. Um, so it the idea of it becomes very skewed after a while. You know, I think it's just a, a mental thing that we have to talk about. Hence why Alice did a, a, such an amazing job writing about it. Right. And if you don't, if you're not happy with the best of yourself, just create a new one, right? <laughs> exactly. Just create a new page. So easy. And Pippa, finally today, working with Alice Seabright, tell me about that, that experience. Mm. It was a dream, a, a gift. She's so generous, so kind, so relaxed. And, you know, there is always that slight fear if you're working with the writer, who's also the director, the showrunner, mm. has had these characters in her head for six years or so, that there might be a sense of ownership on her, her, her part. Mm. But all throughout prep and our initial conversations, she was just like, she's yours. Yeah. You just take her, you do what you want with her. And there'd be takes where she'd be like, okay, now we just forget the script and just do, yeah. just say what you think you would say at that yeah. particular. So there was just such a generosity and freedom and it was just a really pleasurable set to be on. So. Well, you both shine through in this series. So congratulations and uh, let's you. talk again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so like much, Jeff. Thank you.